which catches a cold. Today it is raining a little bit. <laughs> Peppa, George, put your rain clothes on. When it rains, Peppa and George must wear their rain clothes. Yuck! George does not like wearing his rain hat. George, you must keep your hat on. Why? Because you must keep dry. Why? Because you might catch a cold. Why? George, do you want to play in the garden? <coughs> then keep your hat on. <coughs> Come on, George. <laughs> Peppa and George are going to jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> Yuck! George does not want to wear his rain hat. <laughs> George! Come inside. The rain's too heavy to play in now. Oh, George, where's your hat? Achoo. George has caught a cold. Achoo. Oh, poor little George. You don't sound well. <coughs> don't worry. I'll ring Dr Brown Bear. Dr Brown Bear speaking. I see. Put George to bed and I'll be straight round. Thank you, Dr Brown Bear. Goodbye. Will George be taken to hospital and given medicine? No. George just has to go to bed. Oh, so George is not really properly ill. <coughs> Ugh, that's disgusting. <coughs> Poor George. Let's get you straight to bed. George, you have to stay in bed for a bit. No. George does not want to stay in bed. Achoo. George, you have to stay in bed until you are better. Why? Because you have to keep warm. Why? Uh, because Dr Brown Bear says so. Hello, where's my patient? <gasps> Open wide and say, ah. George is a little bit worried. Hmm. Pepper, you're big and brave. Can you show George how to say ah? Of course. Ah. <laughs> ah. Hmm. George has caught a cold. Does George need medicine? No, but he can have some nice warm milk at bedtime to help him sleep. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. You're welcome. Goodbye. George has been in bed all day. Now it is Peppa's bedtime. George, are you better? Achoo! George is not better. Achoo! George, please don't sneeze so loudly. <coughs> <sighs> this is impossible. George, here's some nice warm milk to help you sleep. <sighs> the warm milk makes George feel very, very sleepy. Good night, my little piggies. Ah, it's so nice and quiet. It is morning. George has slept very well. <laughs> George is better. <laughs> Come on, everyone. It's a lovely sunny day. George is wearing his rain hat. He doesn't want to catch another cold. Oh, George, you don't need to wear your hat. Why? Because it's hot and sunny. Why? George, can you stop saying why all the time? Why? <laughs> <laughs> George certainly is better. <laughs> <laughs> The museum. Pepper and her family are going to the museum. <laughs> Daddy, what is a museum? It's a place full of interesting things that are very old. Older than you? Yes, even older than me. Ooh, really old. <laughs> <laughs>
There's one room full of things that belong to kings and queens from long ago. <gasps> I want to see the king and queen's room. And there's another room with a real dinosaur. Wow! Dinosaur! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mummy Pig. Hello, Miss Rabbit. How many tickets, please? Two adults and two children. Dinosaur. <laughs> and a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper wants to see the room full of things that belonged to kings and queens from long ago. Wow. Dinosaur. But George wants to see the real dinosaur. <laughs> Don't worry, George. We will see the dinosaur next. <laughs> Pepper, these are all the things that the Queen had a long time ago. This is the Queen's special chair. It's called a throne. It's beautiful. This is the Queen's dress. It's so pretty. Look, Pepper. This is the Queen's golden crown. Wow! What lovely things. Mummy, where is the Queen's television? They didn't have television then. <gasps> no television? <coughs> but they did have computers. No, they didn't have computers either. <coughs> what did they do all day? <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, if I was the Queen, I would eat as much cake as I wanted. Peppa imagines being a Queen. Delicious. Is there anything else you would care for, Queen Pepper? Yes. More cake, please. Of course. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Coming, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy, I'm Queen Pepper. You must bow when you speak to me. Oh, I'm most terribly sorry, Your Royal Highness. And what do you do? I'm your Daddy. That must be very interesting. Yes, it's very interesting. And what room is this? This is the dinosaur room. The dinosaur room? George, this is the dinosaur room. <laughs> dinosaur! Where is the dinosaur? He's somewhere in the room. I can't see him. He must be very small. Actually, Peppa, he's very big. <gasps> wow! These are the bones of a real dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> George imagines being a big dinosaur. <laughs> the dinosaur room is George's favourite room. <laughs> My favourite room is the king and queen's room. And it looks as if Daddy Pig is already in his favourite room. Which room is that, Mummy? The room with the cakes in. Daddy Pig's favourite room is the museum cafe. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, tuck in. Oh, yes. This is a very nice room. <laughs> Not very well. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig have just made breakfast for Pepper and George. Breakfast is ready. <laughs> Pepper has red spots on her face. Mummy, I don't feel very well. Oh dear, Pepper, you don't look very well. Don't worry, I'll ring Dr. Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. Pepper is not very well. Her face is covered in red spots. Hmm, put Pepper to bed and I'll come straight round. <laughs> Dr. Brown Bear has come to make Pepper better. 
Hello, Pepper. How are you today? I'm not very well. Stick your tongue out, please. Hmm. It's not anything serious. Pepper has just got a rash. Do I need medicine? The rash will clear up quickly, but if you like, I can give you just a little medicine. Yes, please. I'm afraid it doesn't taste very nice. Open wide, please. Yeah, Disgusting! You are a brave little one for taking it so well. Pepper must stay in bed. I'll call back later to check that she's better. Can Pepper have visitors? Oh, yes, she can have visitors. The rash isn't catching. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, Dr. Brown Bear. Mummy, can I get up now? Dr. Brown Bear says that you must stay in bed for a little bit, Pepper. <sighs> but it's so boring. Dr. Brown Bear did say you could have visitors. <laughs> can Susie Sheep visit me? Susie Sheep is Pepper's mm. best friend. I'll ring Susie Sheep's mummy. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Pig. <coughs> May Pepper talk with Susie, please? <coughs> Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. I'm not very well. I have red spots on my face. Has the doctor been? Yes, Dr. Brown Bear was here. He said I wasn't very well and that I was very brave. So are you really ill? Yes, yes. It's not pretend. I have to stay in bed. <coughs> Dr. Brown Bear gave me medicine that tasted really horrible. I'm coming to see you. <laughs> I'm going to wear my nurse's outfit. Susie Sheep has come to see Pepper. Susie is wearing her nurse's costume. <laughs> Danny Dog and Rebecca Rabbit have come along too. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Pepper. Pepper. <coughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel? I'm not very well, Susie. I have to stay in bed. What can we do to make you better? <coughs> you could get me some orange juice. OK. <laughs> Pepper seems to be quite enjoying herself. <laughs> Thank you, Susie. Do you feel any better? A little bit. <coughs> Daddy? <coughs> Ask my mummy if I could have some ice cream. And Rebecca, could you bring me some flowers from the garden? Dr Brown Bear is here to see if Pepper is better. Ah, good. The nurse is already here. How is the patient? Uh, I'm not a real nurse. It's just pretend. I see. Would you like me to take a look myself? Yes, please. I say, no more red spots. You're completely better. Aren't I still a bit ill? How do you feel? I think I should stay in bed a little bit more. Hmm. <laughs> I fancy a game with this ball in the garden. Who wants to join me? Me, me, me. <laughs> me too. <laughs> well, I never. A complete recovery. <laughs> 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 Windy autumn day. Today, Pepper is going to the park. <laughs> it's freezing cold. It is cold. <laughs> Quick, let's get our warm clothes on. On cold days, Pepper and her family wear their hats and scarves and coats. I'll put the roof up. Oh, and let's get the heating on. Everyone nice and warm? Yes, Daddy Pig. Pig. Then let's go. This is the park. We're here. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, why are all the leaves red and yellow? It's autumn time, Pepper. In the autumn, it gets a bit colder and the leaves change colour. Ooh, it's quite windy. Let's play a game to keep warm. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. Oh, it's not meant to go that way. The wind is blowing the ball along. <laughs> the ball is in the pond. Hmm. 
I'll just use this stick to reach it. Just a bit further, Daddy. Be careful, Daddy Pig. Don't worry. I've almost got it. Whoa. <laughs> Daddy, is the water cold? A little bit. The wind has blown the ball out of the pond. That's lucky. Yes. What a stroke of luck. It's getting even windier. Hold on to your hats. No, the wind has blown George's hat off. <coughs> Don't worry, George. Daddy Pig will catch your hat. Quick, Daddy! <coughs> Look, it's in that little tree. Hmm. I'll just climb up and get it. The tree is much too thin to take your weight, Daddy Pig. So, how can we get George's hat? Simple. I'll give the tree a little shake. Huh. Maybe if I shake it a bit harder. Oh! oh. <laughs> <Zip>. <laughs> I thought that sort of thing only happened to me. It's not funny. It is a bit funny, Mummy. I suppose it is a bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> Where's George's hat? It's on your head. <laughs> Here's your hat, George. Hold on to it this time. <laughs> the wind is blowing all the leaves off the trees. Look at me! I'm leaning into the wind. <laughs> the wind is strong enough to hold Pepper up. <laughs> the wind is strong enough to hold George up. Daddy, have a go. Uh, I'm a bit too heavy. Come on, Daddy. It's really fun. Oh, all right. The wind is strong enough to hold up Daddy Pig. <laughs> I say, this is fun. Come on, Mummy Pig, give it a try. But if the wind stops, I'll fall over. <laughs> the wind won't just stop. The wind has stopped. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. It is a bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> Now the wind has stopped, what can we do? Hmm, what's your favourite game? Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. But there aren't any puddles, just lots of boring dry leaves. And what do you do with dry leaves? I don't know. Jump up and down in them! Daddy Pig loves jumping up and down in leaves. <laughs> Peppa loves jumping up and down in leaves. <laughs> Everyone loves jumping up and down in leaves. This is the best autumn day ever. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe's big friends. Pepper and her family are on their way to visit Cousin Chloe. I love playing with big Cousin Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe, Chloe! Oh, Chloe! Hi there. These are my friends, Simon Squirrel and Belinda Bear. You can call me Si. It's short for Simon. And I'm B. It's short for Belinda. <laughs> I'm Peppa. We'll call you Pe. Oh, and this is George. We'll call you J. Oh. You didn't tell us you had baby cousins, Chloe. <laughs> I'm not a baby. But you're both little. I'm a big girl. George is little. Uh, why don't we all play a game? <laughs> yes, let's play hide and seek. We don't play baby games anymore. We're almost grown up. <laughs> what about the yes-no game? What's the yes-no game? I ask things and you answer. What makes that a game? You mustn't say yes or no. Too easy. Do you want to play then? Yes. Ah, you said yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. I wasn't ready. B, are you ready? Yes. Aha, I win again. <laughs> Pepper is very good at playing the yes-no game. Can I ask the questions? Of course. You don't mind me asking you the questions? I don't mind. 
Am I ever going to make you say yes or no? I don't think so. Oh, I give up. How do you always win? Easy. I just don't say yes or no. Ah, I win. You said yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Let's play another game. Have you ever played sardines? What's that? Someone hides and we all try to find them. That sounds like hide and seek. But when you find them, you keep quiet and hide in the same space until everyone is hiding there. Like sardines in a tin. All right, let's try it. <coughs> George, you hide first. <laughs> One, two, three. George is looking for somewhere to hide. Nine, ten. With your knot, here we come. <laughs> George, I can see your wiggly tail. <laughs> Peppa is hiding with George. Move over, George. <laughs> Found you. Now Chloe must squeeze in with Peppa and George. <laughs> Move up. <laughs> there you all are. Now Belinda Bear must squeeze in too. Budge up. <laughs> We're like sardines in a tin. <laughs> Where's everyone gone? Surprise! Ah! <laughs> Can we stop running around now? Yeah. Let's just chill out. Chill out? What's that? We just sit around and talk about stuff. I like talking. Blah, blah, blah. Let's talk about music. I dig blues music. Um, I like red's music. I like green's music. We don't like children's music. No, no, no. 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 What music are you into? I like this. It's very grown up. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. <laughs> See Chloe again soon. I'm coming to your house next week, Peppa. Can, can we, we come, come along too? You can come, but we will be playing games. We like playing games with Peppa and George. Hooray! You can still have fun playing games, even when you're almost grown up. The eye test. <laughs> Pepper and George are playing with Pedro Pony. They are going to jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> Pedro has slipped and lost his glasses. Nay, no. where are my glasses? Without glasses, Pedro cannot see very well. <laughs> George has found Pedro's glasses. George. Here they are. Thank you. Pedro, why do you wear glasses? I need to. The optician says so. What's an optician? My daddy is an optician. He checks that you can see clearly. How? Does he look inside your head? <laughs> he does an eye test. Shall I give you an eye test? Yes, give me an eye test. OK. Hmm, interesting. Close one eye and say what you see. I can see George. <laughs> now close both eyes. Now I can't see anything. Hmm, can't see anything. Very, very interesting. I think you need glasses. Oh, do I? Yes. Pedro! Home time. Bye-bye, <laughs> Pedro. Nay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Mummy, I need glasses. What? Pedro gave me an eye test and I need glasses. I'm sure your eyes are fine. No, Mummy. When I closed my eyes, I couldn't see anything. But no one can see anything with their eyes closed. Oh. <laughs> What's this about needing glasses? Pedro knows all about glasses. His daddy is an optician. 
All right, Peppa. Let's take you to the optician for a proper eye test. <laughs> Let's go now. <laughs> George, would you like an eye test too? No. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper is at the opticians. <laughs> Mr. Pony is the optician. Hello, Pepper. Please sit down. <laughs> now, what can I do for you? I need an eye test, please. Of course. Put these special glasses on and then look at the chart. Mr. Pony is going to test Pepper's eyes. Can you read these letters for me, please? OK. Um. A, B, C, D, E, F. Good. Now these numbers, please. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. <laughs> and now these colours, please. Red, green, orange, blue, yellow, purple. Excellent. While I check your results, would you like to choose some glasses? Yes, please. How about these glasses, Pepper? They're funny. <laughs> <laughs> I know. What about these ones? They're too big. <laughs> <laughs> How about these? Wow. I like these ones, Mummy. Yes, Pepper, you look fantastic. I look fantastic. <laughs> <clears throat> Good news. Pepper has perfect eyesight. Oh, so I don't need glasses? No. But I really wanted glasses. Oh, hmm. I suppose you could have some sunglasses. Yes, sunglasses. Here you are. <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> I hope it's sunny every day so I can always wear my sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> Bedtime story! It is night time. Daddy Pig is reading Pepper and George a bedtime story. And so the prince, the princess, the budgie and the frog all lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs> the bedtime story has sent Pepper and George to sleep. Good night, my little piggies. <laughs> George is awake. I saw. George, you naughty piggy, go back to sleep. George is not sleepy. <laughs> George, night time is for sleeping, not playing. <laughs> I can tell you a bedtime story. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a little pig. His name was Georgie Pig. <laughs> and he was off to make his fortune. Soon he came to a forest. Do you like the story, George? <coughs> Inside the forest was a little house. And inside the house was a bowl of porridge. <coughs> Georgie Pig was very hungry, so he ate it all up. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> but just as he finished, Baby Bear walked in and said, Oi, did you eat my magic porridge? Georgie said, Yes. Baby Bear said, That was magic porridge. It will make you go very big. And then Georgie Pig began to grow. He grew and he grew and he grew until he was taller than all of the trees in the forest. The end. Are you sleepy, George? No. Not even a little bit? No. <sighs> OK, I'll do a bit more story. Baby Bear said there is a box of golden treasure at the end of the world. But it's too far for me to go because I'm too little. 
Georgie said, I will carry you there. So Georgie Pig walked to the end of the world. He walked and he walked and he walked. Are you sleepy yet? No. He walked through forests, across mountains, across seas. And are you sleepy yet? No. He walked all the way to the end of the world and found a big box of golden treasure. Ooh. And a big dragon. Grrr. Yes, a big green dragon with little wings and breathing fire. Roar! Luckily, it was a very friendly dragon. And he said, you can have the treasure. But then Georgie Pig began to shrink. He shrank and he shrank and he shrunk until he was the same little Georgie Pig as he was before. How will we get back home now? said Baby Bear. I can fly you home, said the dragon. So Georgie Pig and Baby Bear hopped on the dragon's back and flew all the way back home to the little house in the forest. And then it's the end. George is asleep. Pepper is asleep. Pepper, what are you doing out of bed? Night time is for sleeping, not playing. Night night, my little piggies. Sweet dreams. Pepper and George are in their little beds, fast asleep. It's very early on Christmas morning. Pepper and her family are staying at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. George, wake up! <coughs> Santa's bean! <laughs> Bubble mix! <laughs> Comets! And tangerines! <laughs> Mummy! Daddy! It's Christmas! Hey, what? It's too early, Peppa. Go and say Happy Christmas to Granny and Grandpa. <laughs> Granny, Grandpa! Mr. Ah! Pedic, all hands on deck. It's Christmas. It's three o'clock in the morning. But Santa's been. Can we see if he's still here? No, Santa's not here. Look. The carrot, drink and mince pie have gone. He's only left crumbs. Yes, Santa likes a good mince pie. And there are big presents under the tree. <coughs> I asked Santa for a doll. Can we open them now? We will open the big presents after Christmas lunch. Oh, goody. Pepper and her family are having Christmas lunch. Let's pull the crackers. And party trumpets. <laughs> and jokes. What wobbles in the sky? I don't know. A jellycopter. Hmm. <laughs> 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 this Christmas pudding is delicious. Peppa and George helped me make it. We did the stirring. Did you make a wish, Peppa? Yes. I wished for... Don't tell us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's open the presents. Yippee! This one is for George. <laughs> it is a racing car set. <laughs> this looks a bit complicated. Let me see. This goes here, and that goes there, and this goes there. Let's race! Ready, steady, go! <sighs> Daddy and Grandpa are enjoying playing racing cars. Isn't that George's present? <laughs> I think George is quite happy playing with the box. <laughs> <laughs> this is your present, Daddy Pig. Ah, socks. And I've got socks. 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 Oh. <laughs> so, the last present must be for... Me! I asked Santa for a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. Oh, Birdseed. Birdseed. 
That present is for Polly Parrot. But it was the last one. Santa has forgotten me. Hello? <laughs> Can I talk to Peppa, please? Peppa, it's Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. Did you get your doll? No. I got mine. It cries and laughs and closes its eyes and everything. Santa's giving you my doll. No. The label says for Susie Sheep. <laughs> then Santa has forgotten me. Ho, ho, ho! Santa is on his way home. That's the last of this year's toys delivered. Oh, what's this at the bottom of my sack? Santa can't have forgotten you. I have been a good piggy, haven't I? Ho, ho, ho! Santa! Uh, hello. He came down our chimney. Of course he did, Granny. Here's your present, Peppa. Sorry it's a bit late. <laughs> my dog! Thank you, Santa. Would you like some Christmas pudding? George and I stirred it and made wishes. Mmm, yummy. And I wish that Santa would visit us on Christmas Day. And you did. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas Eve. <laughs> Hands up, who wants to go and see Father Christmas? Me, me, me! Are we going to the North Pole? Not quite that far, Peppa. But Father Christmas lives at the North Pole. Lucky for us, he's got a grotto at the Christmas Fair. Peppa and George have come to visit Santa's grotto. Hello, everyone. Hello. All aboard the elf train. This way. <laughs> Susie, what are you asking Father Christmas for? I don't know. What are you asking for? I would like a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. I'll ask for that too. How does Father Christmas remember what toys everybody wants? He makes a list. His sleigh must be very fast to go around the whole world in one night. It's a super sleigh! Father Christmas is really old. He's hundreds of years old. Even older than my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Santa's Grotto! Ooh. Ho, ho, ho! Hello, everyone. Hello, Father Christmas. Have you all been good? Yes. Yeah. Have you all kept your bedrooms tidy? Yes. Have you? Oh, 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 of course. Now, come and tell me what you'd like for Christmas. Can I have a football, please? A xylophone. Tiddlywinks. A magic set, please. Racing car. <laughs> Bouncy ball. Boing, boing. A twain, please. A toy train. Not a Toy train? A real train. One I can drive with real passengers. Oh, ho, ho. I'll see what I can do. Is that everyone? We haven't seen you yet. I am sorry. What is your name? I'm Peppa Pig. We've met before. Ah, yes. Nice to see you again, Peppa. What would you like for Christmas? I would like a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. Please. Um, the same for me, please. Very good. You do know where I live, don't you? Oh, yes. How old are you? Oh, I'm hundreds of years old. I told you. <laughs> Goodbye, Father Christmas. Don't forget to leave me a mince pie and... And a drink. We know. And a carrot for the reindeer. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Peppa and her family are driving back from the Christmas fair. Daddy, why have we got our bags in the car? We're spending Christmas at Granny and Grandpa's house. But Father Christmas won't know where we are. 
Don't worry, Peppa. Father Christmas knows everything. Granny Pig, it's nearly Christmas. Yes, and I've got a very important job for you. Stir the Christmas pudding and make a wish. Peppa and George are making a wish. Racing car. Oh, don't tell me what it is. <laughs> Here's the mince pie and a drink for Father Christmas. And a carrot for the reindeer. <laughs> Who can that be at this time of night? We're not buying anything. Merry, joyful greetings, festive happy cheer. Carol singers. Snow is falling gently, Christmas time. Oh, Merry Christmas. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. This used to be my bedroom when I was a little piggy. Father Christmas knows where Granny and Grandpa live, doesn't he? Oh, yes. He's been here many times before. Good night, Pepper. Good night, George. Pepper and George have fallen asleep. When they wake up, it will be Christmas Day.